So my original intentions were I was just going to build the table just like this, where it was sitting on top, you know, and put some kind of lip around so that it can't fall off. Um, and then talking in this video and looking at this table saw, I just really like the way that looks. So I'm going to do the same. Um, it's 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 not going to follow the pitch, um, but I'm going to be even with this, which I think will be cool. So I'm going to build it from the first uh, layer, which would this would be on, um, and then go up. And then the final shelf would be that. So I'm going to have a shelf at the bottom where the cooler and the air filter will be. I can do the tubing, plumbing. Um, get that squared away and then be able to measure up and see you know what height do I need to put this at um, and then just like I did with this the final piece at the top I'll just cut two separate pieces um, one on each side um, you know to go up so uh, yeah I think that's gonna work out nice I think it'll look cool so here we go table saw I put the legs on the inside you looked the legs are in the inside See? here I cut them literally into the table but then on this big table I put them on the outside 
and supported it. So that's what I'm debating right now. What I want to do. I think, I think I'll put them on the outside. <laughs> same exact height of this uh, table that's sitting right here so we'll see but you can see it's nice and sturdy uh, obviously it's way overkill for the amount of weight that it's um, you know being used for but anytime I build something I build something you know <laughs> uh, my father would say built like a shit brick house I don't even know what that means if you know what built like a shit brick house means let me know but he always said that means he you know made it very sturdy uh, this table we're standing I can my daughter and I when we built it we jumped on top of it uh, together and didn't do nothing so if the table is ever repurposed or something else it's 100 solid I think it basically will be able to handle any weight that I put on it um, so yeah so this is the first base this is where the air filter and the um, and the um, Refrigerant is going to go as well as a. I'm going to put here it's an APC UPC, which is a surge protector and a battery. Uh, so when your equipment does like initial first big draw, um, it actually will pull from the batteries. Uh, you won't ever trip a breaker. And then obviously a surge protector because it's protecting all your equipment, which is all very expensive equipment. You do not want anything to get hit by a surge. So I always want to uh, you know have a surge protector plugged into it. So it's it's all of that. Um, yeah, so that's a different video in itself, but you know, it would easily be able to fit all three uh, pieces of equipment in here and then have a decent amount of space in between them as well so they're not, you know, butted up to each other, touching each other. So I'm happy, basically, uh, gonna just like I said, this is the bottom, do the same exact procedure uh, in building uh, a second one. Um, and you know, th that's what this that's what this will sit on. Uh, the only difference between this one and the top one. Um, is the very very top one which is actually going to go around the edge and you'll see that here in a second here but yeah so I'm basically just going to duplicate this all over again for that to sit on top. Let's get at it. <laughs> that the I screw into screw them into each other and then just literally take a block like this so the shelf sits on top of it and that's how I've been supporting the weight uh, on all these builds and I've had really good luck with that so I'm gonna stick with that so two to go As you can see, as big as my shop is, it gets very small when a lot of things are going on on the table. 
But this is why I built this big table, because before I built this big table, it was even worse. So having this big table, a full sheet of plywood table, is definitely a huge benefit to helping me in my shop, especially since I'm working by myself. Nice and sturdy, strong. Okay, 42 and three quarters. So I built the the first layer, which the uh, cooler and the filter and the APC, UPC, surge detectors are gonna go on. I built the second one that the uh, laser itself is going to go on. I'm going to build the legs and then once the laser's in there and we get it dialed into the height uh, Then I'll cut custom the top uh, to you know wrap around the, the sides um, It's going pretty good it's going together pretty well uh, It's it's extremely sturdy uh, As to be expected and uh, I'm happy like I said um, uh, Overbuild is sometimes good because I'm, you know, it's gonna last forever. I mean, I'll never ever replace this I'll never ever build another one of these, so it'll last forever. Um, I just don't believe in doing things half-assed. Do it right, don't do it all, as my dad used to say. So uh, let's get the leg built. <clears throat> so I'm actually gonna be building it to here, right here. So uh, it will be kind of on an angle because it's higher in the back. Um, so you'll see it resting. And then I chose this height because I felt like I'm not kneeling down, like hurting my back, like looking into something. It's a little higher. So I like the fact that it was a little higher, uh, but I like the look that they, um, 
did my table saw look when it was kind of you know protruded down into the table so i like that look so the best of both worlds a little higher you know easier on your back when you're constantly doing this um so if it was you know lower i think you'd, you'd be like this the whole time but uh, i like it sitting this high but so perfect i don't have to do anything at all but uh so far so good let's keep going i was a little mad these canister wheels i've been using in all my projects i just bought uh, 20 of them some ridiculous amount years ago and i've just been calling going into my stash as i've been building these projects and uh, I went to Home Depot to buy the exact ones. I think they were like four or five dollars at the time, and they were uh, ten dollars a piece. And I'm like, man, you know. And I looked at other ones, and at the end of the day, they're worth. They're they're extremely they're extreme built extremely well. Rubbers really well. Stops really well. So I'm just like, ah, forty bucks in wheels. So if you want to do this build, um, and you're wondering like, Rick, did you really need forty dollar wheels? Hey, if you want to order something on Amazon, go for it. But uh, if you're going to go to Home Depot, that's really the best you're going to get. So, so far, I think the bill was $126 plus $40 in wheels. So, you know, $160. All right, so what do you think? She's all set up sitting on the table. I think it turned out really well. Uh, it, it easily moves and spins around for it uh, easily um, uh, with all the weight of everything. Uh, I've added some water to that so that, you know, added some weight. Uh, still spins really easy, uh, so definitely nice. So that if you, um, it's on a permanent uh, place, but for some reason you know it's, uh, you know you need so you need that space. You're able to move it around, um, and as you can see, when I stand next to it, it is sitting a little higher. I kind of would say like a bar height, um, and the reason is because when working in this, I didn't want to be constantly staring down when it was, you know, maybe. In most cases, when I saw people using these, like six inches lower, so it is a little higher. If you look at here, it's right above the Buddha. Well, but then I'm I'm kind of just looking down, and I'm not feeling like I'm hunched down or my neck, or you know, sometimes you're when you're doing productions or doing things, you know, you start feeling those aches and pains, and you're just staring down all the time, staring down all the time. So I just made it a little higher, so I just literally just kind of just looking lower down, uh, and not bringing that up will make it a little more comfortable when using it for long periods of time. So I think it turned out great. Let's, let's turn it around really quick here on the side. Uh, we'll do a quick side view. Let me grab this camera. Um, so if you can see that duct work uh, from the air purifier system, I went up and around and I came out the back. So looks really good. I'm really happy the way everything turned out. Um, and then this exiting. I just went ahead and used this coupler's rubber boot. Uh, came out with a two inch PVC and coupled it there. Uh, again, uh, you may have seen previously mentioned that I was undecisive if I was gonna use an inline uh, fan or not. So we will see how well this performs. I did purchase this from Home Depot. Let me grab it. Sorry, I used um, this wide mouth vent hood. So I will be putting that outside. Um, but I'm undecisive if I want to use a four inch inline with that to blow additional um, air, if it's needed or not. So we will see, um, but that's a good thing about this. None of this is glued in place. Uh, so at any point I can easily take it apart, um, but it is secured. Um, so it will not, um, you know, pull away from the table, but uh, I'm happy. Everything looks great. Got plenty room for chiller. Plenty of room for the air cooler. If you notice, there's a big spot right here. And what that will be for later is adding air assist to this. I have a air compressor that's ultra quiet. Um, if you've never seen an ultra quiet air compressor or interested in just hearing it run, there'll be a link in the description below to that ultra quiet. It is <laughs> ultra quiet. <laughs> you, you'll be really surprised how quiet it is you know so then um i can hook up that'll be a later modification but i just wanted to show that i did have that space for that and that's designated for it uh there is some thought in do i want to cover this in the back or do i want to make a cabin here in the front let me turn this around you know do i want to make a drawer that slides out this way you know i like the idea here that's just open so i can set my laptop down um, 
but this is all I'm gonna build until I start using this. The reason is that I like to use something and then see, you know, what's comfortable, you know, what seems out of place, what am I lacking, you know, so will that drawer benefit me coming out from underneath there, you know, uh, do I want to store acrylic on the right hand side, just start using it and see, um, you know, what, what's comfortable, what's needed, and then, and then build from there, but the foundation is built, I'm super happy the way that it turned out, um, I don't think I would really change anything, I, I raised this height so that it's, coming up and it'll hold it in place so this won't budge around um, but you know it's right at this line and that was pretty much damn on the money so um, the build um, I'll add it up and I'll figure out all the pricing but you know I did get if you notice some of that purple on this lumber um, I went to Home Depot if you go in the back in the bins they have like 75% off so I got some maybe 12 foot boards you know and at the end it was a little warped with this or that um you know I, I just cut those off and that really will save on the build because wood's so expensive right now you know if the board's completely straight and the last eight inches of it has a twist on it or you know has a, a gouge in it who cares i, I know i'll cut that off and you know i'll save 75 <laughs> percent on the wood so that's just something to keep in mind um you know when buying two by fours things like that you can kind of get a discount and save on the build but i, I want to say roughly the wood was about 150 160 dollars um with everything uh, not just the wood with with everything that i bought with this vent um and with those couplers you saw and the two inch pvc so about 160 bucks with the two inch pvc and the couplers and a couple of things the one thing that you would think that's absolutely insane is the wheels the canister wheels on the on the bottom <laughs> like nine dollars and 95 cents each so you're like man but um they work and they work well so it is what it is COVID's driving some prices up on some things just ridiculous so uh yeah just wanted to show it get ready to move this where it's permanently going to be and you'll see it in place but um making two videos at the same time i guess one building this you know and then one filling this up so if you're watching this video on building this frame and you're like hey rick i didn't see the video on putting this together uh, they're two separate videos, so I will have the link in the description below. This video is just for the build for the table. Uh, and in the description below here, you will see a link to the video of me putting this all together, filling this out, doing an LG, all that. So yeah, I'm just trying to keep them separate so the videos aren't too lengthy. But let's get this moving and put it in place. She fits like a glove. I really like the way that turned out. I think this space is good. To be honest with you, there's a decent amount of space between my workbench I have plenty of space over there like if I wanted to I could pull the table a little more but let me grab a tape we got uh, 22 inches between the two tables so there's plenty of space for me to snake through no problem I don't have to turn sideways or anything um, or I could still you know fit over there i may move my chop saw over there we'll see how that's going we'll start rearranging that but uh, also that this workbench has two other lasers i have plenty of room to be able to slide and move over here so i'm not you know blocking off my other workbenches so yeah i think it works really well um i may play where, where exactly it's going to sit um only because how this exits uh, and goes outside but uh again i if i didn't need to do a 90 or something or you know i, I can but obviously i want to uh eliminate any additional 90s or anything um if i have the ability to uh, so that it's not restricting the airflow if i added a inline blower then i don't think it'd make a difference at all that thing would be so strong but like i said that's all to come to see how that works out but um that's kind of butted on a little support structure for my phone for, for the floor joist so that's holding that in place um and what's crazy too is that how it sits to the back the way it kind of lines up um you know it's protecting it's protecting all the pvc pvc pipe sitting perfect uh to be able to go against these kind so again just i couldn't ask for any better how it turned out looks really 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 good i'm happy so um yeah let's get her plugged in i uh, 
went ahead and plugged in the surge protector. As you can see, um, when I did the back, I didn't maybe cover it, but um, I zip tied all the, the lines really neatly. Uh, put everything into this surge protector. So let's turn it on. That noise is the air filtration system. I was curious on how uh, loud it was going to be, as well as um, you know how with the vibration of the table or anything. But no vibration at all. Like, so you can see, like as I move, it doesn't make any. The noise is just the motor itself spinning. So that's great. It's not too annoying. And you can just pump on. I was told that it would go in alarm mode. I'm going to start checking back here to see if I see any leaks. No leaks. Check it in there because it is routed through the bottom, and that's probably the only way you can see it. Um, and I can see this starting to fill up. Yeah, I'm excited. So, thanks for watching. God bless. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.